Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, reviewing AutoCAD, we want to take a look at a very important concept and that's creating groups. We want to review how you can create a group, how you can ungroup them, and how can you explode and when you explode how it's going to affect the geometry that you are created without further ado let's jump into autocad in today's episode we're going to take a look at the group panel this is a very important function this is a powerful tool that allows you to combine multiple objects into a single unit uh, this is incredibly useful it's gonna help you manage complex drawings it's gonna ensure that related elements stay together so where you can find it you can go to the home tab all the way here we have the group I'm gonna open this one up as well and also pin it so we know what we're looking at so what are the key notes now I want to basically just talk to you guys about is uh, the group is going to simplify the selection for you so it's going to be easier to select a bunch of items at the same time or if you want to make a change to one is going to make it to the entire group with a single click also it's going to organize the drawing for you um, you can keep the drawing more organized in particular is helpful in the large objects we're managing in the where elements can become cumbersome um, also is gonna make uh, uh, editing efficiency what uh, what I mean by that is when objects are group any transformation if you want to move scale rotate um, copy apply to the group by all of them simultaneously so you don't have to do one by one one by one basically you can gonna make that change to all and it's easy to ungroup so when you group all of them easily you can ungroup them and then that uh, flexibility allows you to make more detailed adjustment to the items so let's just head over here so the first one is making a group right there so you can see I have like a bunch of plumbing fixtures right there so I want to create a group these are just individual blocks I want to make them a group so what I do is easy click on this uh, what I'm gonna do right now is it says select the object so I'm gonna select the object right here in the command bar it says you want to do it by name or description right so let's say I want to do it by name and then it says put in gray uh, uh, name I just put fixtures for example and then just select let's say these three so I'm selecting three of them and then enter that's it so I created a group it says group fixture or fix has been created so if I click on this you guys can see there's gonna be a box around it it shows that all of these items are grouped if I make changes to one is gonna affect the other one uh, but this is gonna be the box around that indicate exactly what I need so the next item right here if you want to go you can see it says ungroup them so if I want to remove these group I can easily click on this and you can see it just all goes back to being individuals and now let me hit control Z real quick uh, and then you can also right click so if I right click goes to the groups I have to ungroup I have an ungroup option so you can use the panel or you can the right click click and then go from there so this is basically we did ungroup so let me group it back uh, I don't want to put any name on let's just select these enter so I have a bound this one right here is edit so if you want to edit means if you want to add objects remove rename you can kind of use this so let's say I want to add an object too so he's gonna tell me add what you want I want these two to this group and then click and easily is gonna expand the box around those five fixtures and it's gonna tell me this is my group and the next one let's just try something else over here uh, let me select the group go over here edit um, and then basically you can do let's say remove I want to remove let's say this one and this one 
and then enter and on right now you can see it has a box but only those two are part of my group and these two are the individual ones uh, the next item right here which is kind of important it's group selection on or off so that means um, so right now I cannot go inside the group and make individual changes, right? It has a, a box around it. So I turn these off. You see what happens. A box goes away and I can basically make changes individually to any of these three objects if the group. So it basically takes away that group uh, selection for you and you'll be able to make changes to the group elements so if i turn it back on it kind of goes back to the original box means you can make changes to one affect all of them let's say i want to move or let's say um, yeah just i want to select these and then let's say we want to copy so i want to copy this put it over here and then right now I want to turn these off and I want to copy right now. I only can copy this one, right? So when, when I take away, you guys can see the difference. When I have this group selection on, it basically I make a change to all the group members. If I have the group section off, I can make changes to the individual member of the group. Uh, so these are all the items that we have here. You can also, if you don't like this box, you can turn it on and off. Um, so this is just nothing change, just basically turning on and off the box, but not the actual group. So this one on top is gonna uh, make the uh, group selection on and off, but this is just the box. So you can take it on and off if you don't want. The, and then also the group manager, this is the actual box they're going to open it up the same thing that we did over here is going to be more advanced um, it's going to basically tell you what you have created so let's say i want to put plumbing fixture three um, and then um, you can basically create a new grade you want a selectable yes it's a new one uh, find the name if there is any name you can kind of pick a member of the group let's say i select that one this is a one that's a name of that fixtures you can add it it's like a lot of items that you can do over here it's the same thing that we did right here one by one here you have the object grouping which you can identify the group number you can put the name you can description you can find uh, you can create a new one you can select them or you can kind of unname them you can change the group um, uh, by ungrouping or exploding so let's say if i have uh the group that we have if i want to get rid of this we did talk about that you go over here ungroup we have an ungroup over here or you can also type um, in your command bar explode so when you type explode it basically taking away that group so i type explode it basically take away the group and also the block so when you use the explode it takes away all the attributes that you have on the block it just goes back to the original line so it doesn't have uh, the main block anymore so it basically explode everything and group them it makes it like one by one so just make sure if you want to only ungroup them and you have the block stands just ungroup if you want to take everything back to the original source which is just line uh, you can do explode it basically takes away all the blocks all the groups all the attributes that you have on one uh, object that you have and takes it back to actual lines um, hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.